everybody, and welcome to the pre-show. Where we get everything set up for the real show. Hang out and chat for about 10 minutes. How is everyone doing tonight? S7 Gaming Inc. Glad that you are uh, checking out the Hoff Bergman Explained videos. Hopefully they will get you going. Road train. Good morning to you too. Carpet farmer, how you doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what happened? Uh-oh, that's not good. I don't know about I don't know about a storyline. I think it's I think it's a sandbox game through and through. What uh what what are people basing this storyline concept on? The trailer? The whole family thing? Uh that's Basically, what I got from Giants was that was that was a story for the purpose of a trailer. That is a story. Don't hold too much to it. In fact, let me uh, let me just sadly squash those. Uh, Squash those rumors if I can find something. Oh, I'm going to have to look for something here. Wasn't there. Wasn't there. Must have been over here. Okay, I'm just looking for something. can't really find it at the moment but uh basically the gist is that um uh, the word i have is that basically that was to simply to tell a story to give a basis of uh of the the trailer of course we might find out that there is some sort of story mode but i think i think farm sim is a sandbox game through and through and uh, as a result a career mode or a story type mode is uh is not something you know that works Uh, 
Now, there are some hopes. There are some hopes indeed that maybe, apparently back maybe in Farm Sim 11, there were, uh, there were, there was like a PDA that you had. So when you went to like the menu, you had like a PDA. So maybe there's some hope that uh, a phone screen or somehow you'll interface with the game through through a phone to some degree. Timer is still on because we're still counting down to 8 p.m. Yeah, I think that was all, all part of the background. Now, you know, lazy farmer. Yeah, maybe some of that was uh, maybe disease. Maybe diseases are going to be a thing in a farm sim 22 right so maybe the uh you know it was the concept that if you're lazy or you don't do things in the right order, you will uh, you will have uh, disease. Well, they showed uh, they showed the corn crop was a total loss from uh, from disease. do this. Hey, James, what's up? So, in a previous live stream, we worked on this field, and it turns out that this crop regrows. We didn't know about it. This crop regrows. No, it was diseased. The corn was diseased. issues. So yeah, the idea that maybe Maybe there's disease in the game if you don't do things in the right order or you don't, uh, you know, tend to the crop properly. You know, a lazy farmer loses crop, whereas if you work hard, you get out there and uh, you do things in a certain order. Oh, come on.
everybody, and welcome back to Hoff Bergman 1.0.0.8. We are going to be trying out the biogas plant because the biogas plant on this map is not like your normal biogas plant, not by any stretch of the imagination. It's got several tricks up its sleeve, and well, we need to figure it out. So, how best to figure it out than to do it all together? y'all are having a good day today and i hope you all enjoyed wow the cinematic trailer that came out for farm sim 22 just a few days ago we we're talking a little bit about it in the pre-show we're over here on field 21 working in the new crop the silphile which apparently regrows on its own because we had uh, worked this crop in the past. And this map basically has enhanced crop destruction. It has what I call stubble destruction. And as a result of that, you can kind of see this double destruction here as we drive into it a little bit oh oh I turned off crop destruction I turned it off let me turn it back on turn it off no it's on huh. well we had stubble destruction I don't know what's on any rate man we got lots of news this week about farm sim 22 we got the cinematic trailer which confirmed a few things we learned that mac trucks are going to be in the game kinsey planters are going to be in the game we saw a tracked fent uh, we saw a Massey Ferguson something. I didn't catch the model of that. We saw the, uh, well, I guess we saw the, the new Massey Ferguson 8S, right? I think that's what we saw. We saw a few other things that we don't really know if they are uh, just a part of the telling the story or if they are going to have a uh, an impact on the game like specifically when the daughter was putting wheat seed in the truck does that mean we're going to have something like individual seeds or was it just there to tell the story we saw corn disease. Cornfield was was damaged, was diseased. Are we going to have crop destruction from disease? Is it the possibility that we will lose crop if uh, we don't do things in the right order, or we don't apply pesticides properly? Or could it just be like a random event? You know, maybe maybe if you don't apply pesticides, you could or couldn't get disease. Random event. Roll the die, see what happens. We don't know. But man, I think a lot of people would be interested in that. We learned that grapes are going to be in the game. That's one of the new crops. And as a result, we have, we're going to have several new pieces of machinery are going to be related to uh, grape care. You know, we, we know there's going to be a new harvester. Similar, very similar to the harvester that is in the game now as a mod. The modded grape harvester. So we're going to get some chopped sill file and we're going to take that up to the biogas plant and that's where we're going to, what we're going to dump in that bunker we're going to make some 
silage with it. Ah, road train. It's hard to say. We don't know. We got to speculate, right? We might get a lot more information in FarmCon here in... Oh, what? A month. A month from now, right? I think FarmCon is literally July 23rd. Uh, we got, uh, we got olives. That was like, boom. Shot from left field, right? Olives? Who was expecting olives? I mean, that sounds kind of interesting. And sorghum. Sorghum is the, a third added crop. Man, it makes you wonder, are they taking any crops away? Are there any crops that are going away? Or are we just adding three more to what we already have? around here the only reason people grow sorghum that i know of is basically for uh cattle feed but apparently sorghum is big on the uh on other things too now hold on i've got i got something set up and honestly i just forgot about it let me get something rolling here let me get something rolling here peoples you're gonna love this you're going to love this. Countdown 2. Oh, that is funny. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. That is hilarious. So, there we go. Starting today, every live stream, we're going to have countdown to Farm Sim 22 release. That is how many days, hours, and minutes to November 22nd, 2021 at midnight. That's right, Carbon Farmer. I set this up weeks ago weeks ago I set this up and you know what I plugged in November 22nd 2021 I don't know why I put 6 p.m. in there but I put 6 p.m. in there oh I know exactly why I put that in there because that would be um that would be my time when I could download it Assuming it came out on Tuesday at midnight. That's why I put that in there. So that's what I was going on when I was going to turn that on. I was like, that's funny because I had just plugged that in as a uh, kind of to uh, um, be a placeholder. And it turns out that is the release date, November 22nd, which is a Monday. But you know what? Giants has cut ties with um, Focus Home Interactive. And as a result of cutting ties with Focus Home Interactive, they can release the game whenever they darn well want to. And if that means they release on a Monday, well, then that's when they release. Now, will it be a simultaneous release across all platforms on Monday that's that's something else to question we don't know that I have to lean on console folks to tell me basically when do uh, when do games usually release for consoles do they release any time of the you know any day now or do they uh, do they typically release on a certain day of the week? 
Uh, you know what? I don't think you really need to see seconds counting down, do you? I mean, if you want to see seconds, I can put them up. Hold on, I gotta... What's the format? Oh, okay. your seconds okay you want seconds you got seconds i don't know i don't know Raz. it's like i'd have to lean on some of the news console you know plays consoles to know see seconds is annoying we don't need to see seconds that's my thought we don't need to see no stinking second. So yeah, we're going to have a countdown. Live streams from now on will include the FS22 countdown. Now that is assuming they release my time at midnight. Giants in the past has released at midnight Giants time, or basically CET. So I probably should adjust that time zone to CET. See if I can do that. Can I change time zone? Uh, it doesn't look like I can change time zones. That's okay. It's close enough for now. You know, you're not going to shoot me if I'm off by six hours. Or at least you better not. So yeah, I'm kind of excited now that I've learned what Sorghum is. And how much it is uh, it is a, a staple crop of the world. I'm kind of excited for Sorghum to be in. This year I was like, oh, it's just another uh, fodder crop, if you will. Uh, you can see off in the distance from the distance textures you can see our crop destruction road train it's 22 it's farm sim 22 I don't have I don't have links yet for collector's edition I've been looking and I haven't found anything but I did put a link in the announcement video I put out yesterday 
to the Steam link to the Steam store. Uh, you can add it to your wish list on Steam. No pre-orders yet. Also, I put a link to the Xbox and PlayStation stores just for frame of reference. Oh, Raz, have you figured out the gas thing? Uh, well, I mean, the hours. If it said 151 days and never changed during the stream, you wouldn't realize it was actually a countdown. You would think it was static. This way, at least, you know, you can see it kind of counting down. Yeah, no physical copies yet. It's okay, there's plenty of time. Plenty of time, everybody. Now, there was a, a listing uh, I don't know where, what country it was in, but there was a listing showing the collector's edition was um, seventy dollars, I think, or eighty dollars. Because I remember seeing a comment that basically it was thirty dollars for the beacon and stickers and posters as the upsell. But again, I don't know where that was. So yeah, the, the Wikipedia article I was reading was talking about Sorghum as porridge. Um, sorghum flour, which clearly means that they don't chop it. They must, uh, they must let it grow to maturity and then harvest it as a grain crop and then take that grain crop to uh, you know, be milled into flour. You see our grass crop, our grass destruction on the map. Who remembers Farm Sim 19 first came out? There was grass destruction and, uh, and Giants rolled that back with an update. train I do I did a video on it and I fixed last night it was late for me oh my gosh it was late getting all this information out so I I updated the video this evening with the uh, the link in the upper left corner to the um, to my collector's edition unboxing and I put a link I think in the description to it I may have forgot to put a link in the description, but I'll do that later. So yeah, in the channel, there is a link to uh, to my collector's edition unboxing for Farm Sim 19. I had to get that from amazon.co.uk. And luckily they did indeed ship it to me. Yeah, that was a, uh, the smell generator, that was a April Fool's joke Giants put up a few years ago. Scooters Workbench, welcome to the stream. So glad to have had you come. We're so glad you made it. I don't have a collector's edition for 15. No, I didn't get into Farm Sim until 17, right after 17 release. All 
Alright, Copper Farmer, thanks for dropping by. Oh no, no more space for piglets. <laughs> no more space for new pallets, piglets. After we fill up this trailer, I better go chuck some pigs somewhere. Now, it was interesting reading that... Uh, oh, I googled this. I googled this and I, I saw this result come up. Apparently, they, they have some way of knowing that a human only digests like 70% of sorghum or it was maybe less than that basically it was it was basically saying that um, wheat flour is still better for or wheat is is better than sorghum as a grain for human consumption but if you can't grow wheat because maybe it's not as drought resistant then uh, you know then maybe then obviously sorghum is going to be a, uh, a a better desirable crop because of its drought resistance DBL, I don't play with the hose mod. So I can't help you there. First thing I find the hose mod um, way too touchy, twitchy, and just. It's just not something I find any pleasure in. You get over there. These little st stunted pigs. They're not going to do me any good. Come out. Crop destruction doesn't work. You can see my my tire tracks off in the distance. And when we get enough distance over here, you'll see them. And if we fast forward time enough, we'll see the crop regrow with uh, with my tire tracks still in here. So yeah, I'm really interested. Oh, in the blog post, we kind of got confirmation that seasonal cycles can be turned on and off. Uh, their language was, and if you play with seasonal cycles, then grapes need to be planted at this time period and harvested at this other time period. So the whole, if you play with seasonal cycles, 
implies that you could play without seasonal cycles, doesn't it? And as a direct result, then, it must be a option that you can turn on and off. Now, what we don't know is, can you turn it off in a game save type environment? Like you can turn off and on weeds? Or is it something that maybe you have to turn on and off at a start of a game save? You know, can you, can you add it at will? Or do you have to basically say, you know what? I'm going to play with seasons or not play with seasons on this particular save. Maybe we'll find out more at FarmCon. Like I mentioned in my video, I'm planning on doing a today at FarmCon kind of wrap up video every night. I've already taken farm con days off from work, so I plan to be able to hopefully focus as, as best I can on the stuff that happens at farm con, try to sum it all up in a kind of short informational video. we got in here oh 100,000 liters I think that's enough let's compact this and cover it up <laughs> All right, okay. Thanks for dropping by. Anus. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's got a lot of letter combinations I'm not used to saying. Anastasios, maybe? I don't know. uncultured hick boy from America well he's not that good with uh, fancy European names now I've been thinking about olives and I've been thinking about grapes because it talked about the farmer planting grapes in olive groves and of course they showed grapes with the uh, the wood lattice we'll just call it the wood lattice you know the support structure for the vines and uh, and it got me wondering I might need to look it up. How do people plant grapes? Gosh, I really hope they don't use that tree planter. I really hope they don't use that tree planter. I hate that thing. Um, so yeah, I got me wondering, how do you plant grapes? And yeah, I like the trellis, the little support thing, wood thing. Um, yeah. You know, is that going to just spawn in at a certain growth stage? It's just going to appear? Do you have to somehow create that, make that, build that? Uh, there's supposed to be going to be specialty equipment for fertilizing and maybe 
cultivating or weeding around it. And planting olive trees in a grove, maybe plant them up on a hillside. Honestly, olives, that was kind of a shot from a from left field for me. I was like, what? Olives? this map look at that we've got a green blanket nice oh okay dokie people so while that cooks let's go over here and talk about let's talk about the bga and what makes this fancy dancy yeah it's five months from now five months I think this is just static. Right? Yeah. This is just static, but this over here is not. All right, so we have a hookup for liquids. This is where we would, I think, deliver slurry. Oh, so this is going to be our digester. And this is a hookup for gas. Okay. See, we've got a valve here. And then it basically says biogas in that way. Open gas tap. Feed into gas network. Left click. Close. No injection into gas network. Okay. I know this is our digestate area. There's our digestate trigger. Now, what I don't know a lot about is what's inside of here. And that is... Turn on the Flegal Biomat. Control valve, digestate tank collection. Left click. Open valve to digestate residue tank two. Tank one. Start filling. And you can see we can produce biogas or digestate. And biogas, by the way, you bring it down to this dude. And you know what he makes? He puts them in tanks. You bring this guy gas. And he basically puts them in, in bottles for you. And then you can guess what? You can sell biogas, gas station, LSFM energy, or you can sell it to little farmer dudes, little families. So obviously you're going to sell it to little families as bottle form. Somebody asked me a question about Oh, what did they ask? They asked, could you sell compost maybe? Yeah, you can sell compost Or did they ask something else? Um, I'm trying to remember
So your rye flour. We didn't we didn't talk about selling rye flour during the bread video, did we? All right, let's go up here and fast forward. Let's get some silage. Oh, yes, this is a multi fruit map. We have clover, rye, silphile as additional crops on top of all the other things that we can do as far as production goes. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit the sack. So that way we have some daylight and morning. Oh, joy and it's raining. Okay, we need to get a wheel loader or some belts. Basically need some way of selling our rock. Let's get this thing up to the biogas plant. While we're going up there, I just will say, anybody looking to pre-order Farm Sim 22, uh, there should be a link. I need to put a link. I need to make a link. There will be a link in the new videos. I need to go back and add some links. maze and sill file on the mod disk I don't think it was much to uh, write home about with respect to uh, FS19.
Oh, the collector's edition is going to be... I haven't really found any uh, links to it yet. No, it's like modding basics. It's not really like... You know, this is how you do you dim. I don't think. I kind of likened it to the uh, the FarmCon modding videos that Giants put up for free after the fact. Rick Train, I don't really understand what 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 about eBay? Now the collector's edition is going to be for sale at online and brick and mortar re select brick and mortar retailers. I don't have a list of those, but I gotta expect that Amazon will be one of them. And as of earlier today, searching Amazon for Farm Sim 22 turns up nothing. So. All I can say is just keep looking and checking. It'll show up eventually. Uh, I don't know if you can still get the... Uh, I'm pretty sure you could... I don't know if you can still get the FS19 Collector's Edition. I mean, for all we know, we, we don't want to make it sound too exciting to get. We don't want the uh, we don't want the scalpers that can't get uh, they can't make profits off of the new graphics cards anymore to um, to move their attention over to uh, Farmson 22 Collector's Edition. Robert, thank you for the sub, buddy. Let's give everybody a round of applause to Robert. Give a little round of applause to Robert. Yeah, I enjoyed South Mountain Creamy. I was a little depressed when it came apparent that they had no intentions of bringing that map forward. I mean, at this point, Adam, they could post it. As far as what Giants just said, they're, they were expecting the... basically the store listings to already be there. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was deliberate road train. I think that was just a, a mix-up, but... Who knows, maybe they were maybe they were trying to accurately portray the the uh, snakehead issue. How much of the gameplay gets changed? Well I mean if you just wanna play it like it's a standard farm sim map, you can. Holy cow, is that? Is that? It is. 
the digester has a fill plane. Is it not going down? It's not going down. It's. I have to do something to make it go down. Huh. Don't like to turn it on. It's got a beacon on it. I bet you the beacon comes on. Let's just fill it up. The map didn't have a bunch of errors in Farm Sim 17. Go back and watch my South Mountain Creamery first impressions video. I show the log on every map. If you're getting a bunch of errors, then it might have been likely related to uh, other mods you had. That's good enough. That's 50k. So let's check the control room. I mean, it's a control room, right? It's probably going to do something. Does that do anything? 50,000 lit trees. Oh, I got to turn it on. All right. Chewing away. Okay. All right, so it's chewed away a lot. Don't mind the uh, stuff showing up. I've got a rogue hat trying to crawl on the keyboard. All right, so we have, oh, we have biogas and digestate. So we're making biogas and digestate. What's he do? I don't know, but I wish I could have these screens read English. Oh, start filling. All right. So now we don't have any digestate in the thing. I guess we have it all over here. Is there a display over here? There is a display over here. Okay, so, so that's how we get digestate over to there. What's this read? 17,000, so this is the biogas, right? So I wonder this biogas. Where is it? Oh here. LSFM energy. I wonder if that's I wonder if I But open this valve and feed into the gas network. I wonder if I'm going to sell it to the gas company. I 
I got ten thousand dollars. What did I sell? That still reads that. Wonder what I sold. Oh, it took a while to update. So I did sell. I sold all of my biogas into the network. I got $10,000 for it. Peanut. Hi, MWAPS. I thought you were already a subscriber. Any rate, big old round of applause. We all round of applause for Mr. Mr. Peanut. Right, where is my semi truck? Where's my truck with gas? Hold on, I gotta tab around to find it. Where did I leave it? Oh, I left it up. <laughs> I left it up here when I was doing the uh, greenhouse video. Let's see if we can haul some gas in this thing and take it down to uh, the gas guy, the propane guy. Road train, BGAs are a real thing in real life. Uh, there are a few in the U.S. I think we looked it up once. Yeah, but they are, I think, a lot bigger in Europe. Europa? So I think they're a lot bigger in Europe than the U.S., but there are some kind of making headway in the U.S. Uh, there are some low, small-scale, private-owned biogas production facilities. We have a friend of the channel that works at a farm in the northeast in Vermont I believe and his farm that he works at basically runs the equivalent of a biogas plant that produces methane gas and basically the farm runs off of the energy produced from the methane that the this facility uh, produces. So they basically produce energy, electricity, and then the farm runs off said electricity. change something no I don't want to feed it into the network I want to hold it
What does it take to get stuff out of this thing? I bet you it takes this thing to get it out. Let's get that nasty. No, let's not. Let's get a truck. Man, that's a nice truck. <laughs> it's a man truck. Get it? Chris, there is a adjustment for precision farming because this map has compost. So if you want to use compost with uh, your precision farming to add um, nitrogen to the ground, then you'll need to update precision farming. Sneak. Sneak around the clover field. Yeah, Raz is doing a uh, Raz is doing a multiplayer on Hoff Bergman right now. Where uh, putting biogas in propane I'm just gonna call it propane so yeah this valve is delayed it's not like the real valves the fill valves on other tankers that show there's a delay it's not like this display there it updates live. Let's go make some propane tanks. Oh, there's a road right here. Let's make use of it. Lag Weasel, welcome to the stream. Everybody turn around. Back up the truck, Chuck. We gone the wrong direction. I haven't heard that one, but have you heard the song She Thinks My Tractor is Sexy? That is the pinnacle of music right there. Right there, that is the pinnacle of music. She thinks my tractor is sexy. And that's how you have to say it. Oh, okay, so I need to check this out anyway. So down here I can buy me some herbicide, some Reuben TT in liquid fertilizer. I can buy me some lime seed and oh I can buy all that fun jazz down here too oh wait this per se is this per se a usable fork leaf it is so that's a usable fork leaf and this is important because we're going to do a whole video on 
the the Rasmussen or whatever this is. Raff Raffenstein. Uh, this. What's that say? Anybody know German? type of storage do I get an eject anywhere any kind of triggers up here yeah there's a trigger right there oh my gosh is this is this is this what I think this is is this a cell point is this a cell point that the Rasmussen I'm just calling it that because, you know, I'm a dumb hick and I don't know how to say the words right. No, I think it's a cell point, people. I yeah, think we... it's a cell point. Let's see what this place takes. Look, 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 look. Big bags and crates. They take big bags or a crate of dried green big bags of rye big bags of compost lime big bags of wood chips So let's do this. Ah, uh, that's pig food. They don't take big bags of pig food, do they? We can't sell pig food, can we? Oh, let's see. Let's make a big bag of corn. Somebody was so kind to put a comment in about how this Kramer's arm can extend. Yes, I know the arm can extend. Look, it's extended all the way. It still barely reaches. And we'll do one more. It's not cheating. This is exactly what this is called easy dev controls. We are testing. It's not, we're not, I've done zero actual farming on this map. Yeah, you gotta use the, the. Other one. It's not cheating, it's called testing. I mean, if you want to do it the hard way. Why does it say chicken food? Let me put corn in it. Uh, where's the pickup? Yeah, the pickup's over here. So, y'all see a video on making liquid fertilizer. 
solid fertilizer over the weekend. I mean, I could have cheated in the, uh, just the trailer load of silage or bucket loads of silage, but hey, I actually made that. That's the whole stream says, let's figure out the BGA. This is all feeding the Hoff Bergman explained videos. I would be doing exactly this if I was or wasn't streaming. I would basically be trying things out, trying to figure them out. And then once I figured them out, I would uh... It's like one of those uh, Weevil Wobbles I plan on doing a whole video about the Rasmussen I'm just Rasmussen Because I know you can buy a bunch of bulk stuff there not just a cell point. Yeah, why not ask you guys for a little assistance? You know what? Because some of you all are playing this map and have uh, gotten to certain points and figured things out on your own. Right? No reason to reinvent the wheel. There's a reason why they gave you this big bag lifter down here. And a reason why there's a forklift over there, right? So there was clearly a trigger under this thing up above. Good enough. See what this does. No, stop, 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 stop. Oh, dang on it. I hear it. It's selling. We're selling a bit. Oh, my gosh. It's exactly what I thought it was. That's where you sell big bags. Cha-ching! That is insane. Now where's the truck? What's this over here? That's where I sell compost and manure. Yippers. Oh, there's my trout. Oh, did y'all know this little treat? Where's the fuel? All of these are usable bays. They are all usable wash bays. You're welcome. Oh, road train. If 
Well, I would tell you. So many people have stripped things out of this map and used them on their own. And not given Sir Farmer Andy credit. Pretty much any map that has calves came from this map. Any any map that has ducks came from this map. Ah, uh, let's talk about global companies' honey production. Oh my gosh, it's not. They just closed. Are you kidding me? They just closed. Let's talk about global company and their honey their honey pots. Does that look familiar? Does that look familiar at all? Maybe maybe some global company mod has a honey extractor or has honeycomb blanks or maybe you have to buy honey. Maybe you have a placeable beehives, maybe. Do those look familiar at all? Let's just say that this map had honey for years. Oh my god, seriously? This map had ducks on day one. Not six months ago, this map had ducks day one. Go back and check my Hoff Bergman first impressions video from version one. That was probably back in 2000 and maybe, maybe late 2019. I don't even remember. This map had honey a good year before global company stole it that's right i'll say they stole it no no way carrie the global company people are from ls ls modding company fsuk shut down because uh people weren't going there for their anymore basically traffic was going down because the whole idea of forums themselves is dying off so basically they weren't making any money from ad revenue or anything like that to pay for the site so the people that were financing the site basically uh, shut it down And then they had some idea that they were going to create a different site that was kind of Facebook-ish. But that never went anywhere because, well, why make a Facebook-ish site when you can just use Facebook? The hateful program it is. Um, so basically that shut down too. And that was... Uh, <sighs> I don't remember the name of that one, but that one shut down too. Uh, let's just speed up time. Where do they show up? Oh, how about they show up right there? Dude, gracious. 50 liters each. Holy cow. Right, let's get our pick em up truck. Pick them up, truck. And I have another really cool thing to show everybody all. Oh. Show everybody today. Bring a couple of these. One, two, three, four.
Oh no, let's just. We'll just leave that one here. Oh no! Thirty-six dollars a bottle. Who else wants to buy bottles? So people buy bottles. LSFM buys it in bulk. Uh, the gas station buys bottles. Let's go figure out where to sell it at the gas station. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe they don't have these in other countries. You know, like the little rack? The rack where you, uh... There you go. 27 bucks. You know the rack where you go and they have all the bottles for, you know, return and exchange? That would, yeah, the, the, yeah, the cage. The propane cage with the bottles in it. That would be cool if if you put the bottles in there and you didn't get money right away. You got money like every so often. Like every couple hours you got 30 some bucks because somebody traded in a bottle and picked up a new one. And maybe it, maybe it took 24 and maybe every two hours. So it's a two day thing. That would be cool. So every two days you'd have to take a whole new set of bottles down there and over two days you would sell sell them off Chew. Oh, it didn't open. What was I saying about a cage? Chew. Ah, ah, ah. Let's store our gas bottles. Raznak with the super chat. Woo woot. Now you might want to ask. Why do I need to store bottles at the farm? Well, we're going to get to that once we toss them in there. Yeah, see? This stream is all about researching what I'm going to be recording later this week. 
and over the weekend. Ching! Oh, okay, there we go. So that we can store how many bottles in here? So we gotta open it. We can store 72 bottles or 32 bottles in here. Uh, or let's eject one bottle. Where's it coming? Watch this. Oh, 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 did you see that? 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 This thing takes biogas in bottles. And you know what it does? Guess what it does? Guess what it does? Guess what it does? Guess what it does? It's a grain dryer. Wheat, barley, rye, and oat. Wheat, barley, rye, and oat. It's a grain dryer. That's what it is. We are rocking it at three miles an hour. Cornflakes, that's for Farm Sim 22. Oh, speaking of which, production in Farm Sim 22, right? So, grapes. Get your feet cleaned up because you're going to be stomping some grape juice. How about drying some raisins? California dried raisins, people. Get the raisinets out. You heard it through the grapevine. All right, let's go find a trailer. I got trailers all over the place. I just gotta find one. All right, there's a found a trailer. Gotta find a tractor. Oh, here's one. get some oat so yeah now the question is and what's so funny is I posted in the ambassador channel the day before the, the trailer released I swear they must have thought I'd known something because I said you know what what if uh, what if grapes were in the game and what if uh, the whole Giants raiding thing, right? Could you make wine or barley? Can you make can you make beer with wheat beer, barley beer, whatever, right? Could that be like a production thing that they have in game, given the ratings, or? Or do they, can they not do that because that's not child friendly? So then that asks the question, can you, uh, can a modder mod and make a, a brewery, all right, for production? And and that brewery then um, be in the Giants mod hub 
and available on console. <laughs> oh, this is the the ever does anyone not find this hilarious? This thing grows more than double its size, does it not? <laughs> is that not just hilarious? Am I the only one that finds it funny? So now you have to come at this thing from the side. Or I'll eventually just give up and get a bucket. I guess I could side unload, right? This is this grain dryer tape. Oh, it takes a lot. Okay. Yeah, it would help if you could, like, retract the hitch. to unload to it. Yeah, see now it's now it's been skewed. Side left.
There we go. There we go. No more capacity for oak. Question is how much oat can we dry with a single bottle of gas? Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. I turn it on. Oh, listen to that. We hear the. Oh, cool. We got a little gauge down there. 50. So we know how much gas we got. 50 units. Unfold tube. Hey, this part of the building must get awful dirty. gonna go a long ways. That bottle's gonna go the long yeah I feel the heat. <laughs> that bottle goes a long way. This building used to be a, a different building that you dump things into, and it had a fan that you could turn on to like dry. Road train! Thank you for joining the channel as a farman. Big old round of applause. Okay, we've completely dumped our load of oats. Now, we're not making dried oats, we're making dried grain. Okay? Let's get this thing out of here. I like this because... Look. We got working levers, chains work. I mean, it gets a little stretchy there at the cog, but we can see the pipe sliding in and out.
All right, now we have 21,000 liters of dried grain. So you notice it's dried grain. It's no longer oats. So anything we put in there, wheat, barley, oats, or um, rye, will turn into dried grain. And we can sell dried grain in big bags. It's a, ra a Raffenstein. Or at the malt factory for big money. Big money, big money. Look at that. $2,300 at the malt factory per thousand. Oats, piddly oats. Piddly oats at the malt factory for 827 I think she pays to be drying my grain. Dry my grain. Oh, Carrie, I put it. I put the schedule up in uh, in the community tab yesterday. Uh, today we had we had the speed cameras today, right? What do we have today? No, we didn't have the speed cameras today. That was yesterday. We had barrels. We had the speed camera. I had another short one. Uh, are we done... Have we done the greenhouses yet? Left Hawk, thank you for the sub. Everybody give a big old round of applause. I honestly don't remember what's gonna come out tomorrow. Bees? Bees came out today. Ah, so tomorrow's gonna be, uh, tomorrow is gonna be apples, pears, apple juice, and apple wine. Red, red wine. Right, let's get into that. Dried grain. I need to make me some money. Let's sell 21,000 liters of dried grain. Look at that ticker tick up. $49,000. All I had to do was uh, make, now we can, we can also buy, we can buy gas cylinders at 40 bucks a pop at the shop. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be grapes, or not grapes, apples, pears, apple juice and apple wine and then we will progress then to Friday will be vegetables so our lettuce our greenhouses here Fridays are greenhouses lettuce tomatoes red peppers Or lettuce, tomatoes, and red peppers. Rabbit Rob, thank you for the super chat. Red, red, that's right, red, red wine. Who can tell me who did that song? This one empty. I wish to have some tomatoes in this one.
<laughs> you can see I brought my stuff when I was done with the video and just chucked it over here. Nelson! Thank you for the subscription. Big old round of applause for Mr. Nelson. All right, now. Let us don't go in them. Let us don't go in them things. There, let's put some peppers in. Eric, thank you for the sub. Big old round of applause for Eric. Of course, we can sell those down at uh, tomatoes or paprika. Let's just chuck it. What's super funny is when you play multiplayer and you see people move things around like this. So yeah, this video will be coming out on um, Friday. And then we got, um, like I said, I got trailers everywhere. David Gillespie, thank you for that super chat there, buddy. Some FS22 giveaways. Well, we'll just have to uh, try to get that all set up, won't we? We'll definitely have to set that up. And then, yeah, the uh, um, big old round of applause for the Super Chat, right? Um, yeah, so if you don't know how to make apple wine, we're going to be talking about that tomorrow. We're going to be squeezing some apples in apple juice. Sadly, we can't make pear juice. Oh, Raz, have you heard? I've got a, I've got a rant. I got a rant alarm. If I get fired up, if I get fired up, We're gonna, we're gonna have that go off. Watch out for rant alarm. So. Yeah, we're going to go into <laughs> the cellar. We're going to go into the cellar tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Oh, by the way, did you know? Did you know that you can store things down here too? I mean, if you get a dog, you can f store its food down here. As well as more wood shavings and tater sacks, wood chips, can be stored down here. You store apple wine down here, or that's where you make your apple juice into said wine.
And anyone want to know how that trick is done? Well, there's the cellar down there. R just teleports you down to there. So when you hit R here, okay, you're teleported to the cellar, which is under the house. Ain't that the coolest. Okay, what do we have to do? We got to figure out. We got a few minutes, right? Yeah, we got like... We got like 10 minutes left in the stream. 151 days, 3 hours and 10 minutes. Look. Look, we're going to end the stream at 151 days and 3 hours to go. Eric, FS22 can so be like this map for everyone. That is what the beauty. Big round of applause for production because this type of stuff is now totally within reach for everyone. Console players, prepare to have your minds blown. Things that used to be only be available for PC players. As far as production goes, sky's the limit. Sky is the limit. Compost. So anything that rots goes in here. Anything that rots turns into biomass, including animal carcasses. Now in my pig video, I took some animal carcasses and I chucked in there. They didn't convert to biomass right away. I was pretty sure in a previous version they did. I didn't, um, I didn't go and try what I wanted to try but one thing I was going to try was to uh, one thing I was going to try was to try to drive over the animal carcass and see if it, see if it basically made it into a uh, biomass or not wrong pig food mix oh look at that so if you make wrong pig food mix you can that can become compost. So I can't put can't put real green. Wheat won't go in there. Taters can go in here. And that means probably sugar beet can go in here. Yeah, sugar beet can go in there. Um, sure, sugar cane. Forage, I'm sure, can go in there. Forage mixing. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you were really silly and wanted to, put TMR, you could put that in there. Chaff, wood chips. I'm sure wood chips goes in here. Yep. I'm sure wood shavings can go in there. All of your windrows for sure. Manure for sure. Go in there.
Big food, lime, mace silage, whole grain, beet pulp. We ain't have done beet pulp. We gotta play with beet pulp. Wood chips. Wood shavings, basically. Fermenting compost. Hold on, hold on. We gotta go. We gotta go sleep with our wife slash girlfriend slash mistress. Everyone say hi to my gnome, my gnome army. I did, I haven't seen my lady from the balcony. gold and then we can take compost and spread it on our fields should we so wish or we can do something even better for it we can sell it in big bags or crates we can sell it in bulk at the rasmussen but we get we get more money if we put it in, if we use our bagger and put it in bags uh we can sell it at the garden center who knows about the garden center i do I know about the garden center. Where's my red? Uh, where's my black thing? Oh, there. See, let's grow back. See our crop destruction. It grows back. Um, speaking of, of apples, can I turn that off? No. I can use it at the greenhouse, right. destroy crops no never has I mean you could put them there's a mod out there that does it hey I mean if you want to play ultra realism then sure there's a mod out there that allows it. Oh, I don't have any barrels.
I was looking for that black thing. I mean, if you want realism, yeah, you can add that mod in that does it. Uh, I think it only puts it in barrels. So you can sell it, you can use it on your fields, you can take it down to the to the greenhouse. I mean, if you just want to play the map and harvest and sell your crop, sure, you don't have to do any of this production. Just like you don't have to plant wheat if you don't want to. You don't have to play with animals if you don't want to. Let's go down to the garden center. Do you all know where the garden center is? Does the garden center take bulk or do I have to put it in bags? It looks like bulk. It doesn't say anything about being in bags. Well, road train, that was a farm I lived on and worked on for years. We didn't have any animals. We were a cash crop farm. We sold hay and straw to horse farmers and dairy farmers alike as well as uh, crop grain we did wheat barley corn soybeans no livestock nothing like that because uh, basically they got out of the dairy market in the 70s when milk and everything was becoming unprofitable so they sold off all the cows they sold off all the dairy stuff and uh, became a cash crop only type place so they planted their crop in the spring and then basically we had hay to keep us busy during the late spring and basically summer and early autumn with two, three cuts of alfalfa. We'd often get a good two cuts of Timothy and various other hays. That's good. And then about the time that's wrapping up, guess what? We would have um, proper rate of harvest. So then we would go out and you know, harvest that. Bring in your wheat, bring in your straw, sell that to your folks that want it for bedding. So hay all winter long to your, your horse customers and other such.
I think we accomplished a lot tonight. Figured a bit out at the biogas plant. We uh, figured out the gas bottler dude. Played with our grain dryer. Uh, we kind of confirmed some stuff with the compost. Compost. So glad these guys opened up at promptly at 9 a.m. Where do you want your compost? Hello. Hello to you too. Hello. Oh, do you saw it there? I did see the mystery. Uh, look, we got a we got an empty wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow collision. Enter the house. There is no house here. Greenhouse? Pretty sure I tried to get into those earlier. Hello. Oh, what's her face? Is Janice over here? Is Janice still at the dealer? Uh, maybe she hasn't come into work yet. Diablo! It is literally in the description. Link in the description. All right, let's see. Do we have to make a little bit? There's the black thing over there. And when you go and you can't figure out how to download the map, there is a video in my Hofbergman Explained series on how to download and extract the map. Oh, 
I want to see. I want to see if we can sell it inside. I don't see any other possible location. You can bag wood chips. Yeah, that's firewood. Then you also get wood shavings, which is their bedding. Just don't pick off the butcher. Let's see what happens. Ha ah, ah! ha! Success. Boy, that's annoying. But you get 671 for that. Oh Lord, we get a whole lot more if we just take it down here to bulk. The Rasfistin. The beauty is that with the save game backup app that I did a video about many, 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 many moons ago, I've got a backup save game I'll just restore after this and it'll be as if none of this happened. These are not the droids you're looking for. Dummy, we already talked about this earlier. Ching. -ching. But I have to say, this as a cell point is really cool. Put a big bag on that thing. And then you click this button and it sells. Or I didn't watch it. Today, I literally spent eight hours sitting in a car. Driving about 520 miles round trip not exactly the funnest thing in the world so I really didn't have much time to do uh, any viewing All right, guys, that is going to do us for tonight's stream. Thank you for coming out and watching. And those that have helped with information on the biogas plants and some of the other stuff, big thank you on that. We're going to be using the information we learned in tonight's stream to make some more Hoff Bergman 
explained videos that are going to be coming out next week. Keep an eye on the channel tomorrow because apparently it's going to be um, apples, pears, apple juice, and apple wine. And until next time, happy farming.